You have done it. You've graduated from nursing school and you are ready to take your NCLEX exam at a Pearson View exam location. So here in this video, we'll go over what types of ID are accepted at the actual NCLEX test by Pearson View. And that is very important. So acceptable forms of ID can either be a passport book or a card, a driver's license, a state identification, a permanent resident card, also known as a green card, or a military ID. And either one of those is acceptable, but they all must have, they must be government issued, they cannot be expired, it must be the physical copy that you have with you, so it can't just be a photo on your phone, it must have your name, your full name, a recent picture, as well as your signature on the ID. And the most important part is that the name on your ID matches the name that you registered with at Pearson View. So it can't be one includes the middle name, the other one doesn't, or maybe you've got married since you've been in school or since you've graduated, all kinds of life circumstances happen. But if you've registered at Pearson View with one name, the ID that you present when you show up for the exam must match exactly the registration at Pearson View and your ID. So keep that in mind. If it doesn't match, you might be sent away. Actually, you will be sent away. You will forfeit your fees and they might report that back to your nursing regulatory body and kind of put back like a black dot on your registration because you clearly can't follow the rules. So make sure that you follow all these requirements for the ID when you go to take your NCLEX exam so that you're ready, you feel confident to go there and you're just ready to take the test and rock it. Thanks for watching. Check back for more NCLEX preparation and NCLEX exam information in following videos.